Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we uh, started our way on relearning re memories and also on our way towards the uh, Rito village. I don't have any arrows, do I? I do not. Um, in this episode, we're going to be continuing towards the Rito and uh, our efforts towards our first divine beast, which we can already kind of see. So, uh, however, there is a Korok here that I may as well get while I am in this location. Because otherwise, the poor little thing is gonna be lost five ever. And a half. There we go. Alright. See if we can't avoid our little moblin friend over there and just head straight towards the tower we can see over yonder. Actually, uh, no, it's not here. Um, it'd be over this way. Over this cliff. Towards that path. Although, looking at it, there's gotta be something right here. Yeah, there's a couple boxes here. Alright, Raiden, you're not playing- you're not playing Arceus anymore. Ooh, a meteor rod. Fancy. Elemental damage. Yes, please. Ooh, there's another shrine over there, too. Not gonna worry about that one. That's probably the one next to the stables, to be honest. Yo! If we follow this path here, and we have... Ooh, we do not have. So we're just getting materials from this area. There's another fairy fountain here. Come here, little fairy. I would appreciate you, because I suck at this game. Point crow, I am not. Ah, you ran away. Cute little xylophony noises. Get down here. Come here. Get in my pocket. Alright. Yep, there's the silent princesses in this area. There should also be Ah, yes. Carrots for mine horsey. Or for me. Whichever. Alright, there's some more thistle over here. And we broke our broke our hammer on the face of the guardian I forgot to take a picture of. And I don't really care enough to uh, to continue that. Uh, we're, we're just gonna leave the luminous stone for now. <laughs> An apple tree here too. Uh, another piece of thistle. All right. Uh, let's wander over yonder. I feel like that's the name of a show or something. But it's something I've been saying for a while, so... We're just gonna pretend it's not and pretend it's original. Cause that's what we do on YouTube. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's a cool frame. Ooh, the evil gurgles. Again, it's got indigestion. I was about to say, that better not be rain, that better be just grass particles or something, because the- uh, no. Alright. Up we are.
you know, TwitchCon just ended and stuff, and seeing a lot of creators' posts on Twitter has been really trippy, because, like, oh, I don't have any arrows still. <laughs> because, um, like, just seeing some of the creators I watch, uh, the VODs of, interact with creators that I see, like, more on the regular is crazy. Like, I didn't realize that, you know, Zine knew and kind of looked up to, like, Point Crow, and it's like, you know, <laughs> cool to see how small the YouTube sphere actually is. Alright, so from here I should be able to make it over to here. Just barely. And as long as I don't waste my stamina by jumping, I should make it to the top. I should be able to make it over to the tower. In theory. No, because it's windy, isn't it? Well, we'll see. Alright. Who needs arrows? <laughs> With legs like these. There we rest up. I'm gonna get cold here real fast. Okay, that'll be enough for now. Again, really cool shot with the bird. Cool stuff. Blondie. Left far behind. Alright. Let's see, where are we going? That way. Uh, the stables are right there. So let's head that way. Rito's Stable, one of the better places in the game, honestly, that I usually come when I'm doing the uh, Terrytown quest for wood. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go ahead and let's go to Rito in the daytime. Let's come back to this guy at the tavern. Hey, what's up? Uh, we'll do soft bed. Uh, just until morning, please. Thank you. I thought that was a magnet, not a horseshoe statue. Thank you, sir. Ah. Uh, Beetle! Yeah. Sup, brother? Hey, Wilka! Yeah, yeah. Wow, you've got a rugged rhino beetle in your inventory! Beetle just loves rugged rhino, rhino beetles! Can I take it off your hands? Give you something in return, of course. How does a tough elixir sound? And it's a deal! There you go, beetle. Have your beetle. Whoa, thank you very much. You're even more awesome than I thought you were. I'll cherish this beetle you've given me for the rest of my days. Anyway, back to business. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? But what do you got? Arrows! 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 Never enough arrows. That's it. Thank you. Hi, Cass. Oh. Greetings, Traveler. How about a song? Oh. The- that there. On your hip. No, I'm sorry. It's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? <laughs> you never met a Rito before. Odd. My name is Cass. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard the ancient songs of Hyrule? 
Ancient songs. Ancient songs. Songs that the sing the sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in an age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of ten thousand years ago. I happen to know about the song of the ancient hero. It was passed to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear? It? <laughs> do you care to hear it? Not right now. Thank you though, Cass. I see. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Go back to it. I wait. He doesn't like an audience, apparently. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> uh, Pona's song is so good on accordion. So good. Yay! Alright, two Rito. Up. The plateaus. Now, oh, oh, did I scare him both away? Was that other one real? That other one was not real. That is a bummer indeed. All right. Oh, ah, eh. there will be more. Just remember, there will be more rain. There is always more somewhere beyond the sea. Very loud, screechy song noises. Oh, that's not a dragonfly, but it's close enough, right? <laughs> ah. Butterflies are the worst to get pictures of, I swear. They bounce, and when they bounce, the camera's like, Oh, I don't think this exists. Let's see, anything else hanging out around here? I haven't gotten a picture of- Yes, I know there is. Oh, mm, dragonfly! In here, these are important for a later quest. So, of course, I'm just gonna come in here and grab them. <laughs> now, I don't think, but I also don't know for sure, so don't take me as, you know, my word is law here, but uh, the, I think this is one of the only places you can actually get the hardy salmon. And these dragonflies are not real, not any of them. There's gotta be a real one around, though, because the particle effects only happen if there's a real one. This dragonfly is apparently going to be the boss battle of the series. <laughs> <clears throat> but see, it's not here! Where is it? Why aren't any of these dragonflies good enough for you, Link? Link! Alright. Oh, there it went. Alright. I know it's like, ooh, spooky bird, but like the Korok seed at the top is so distracting. <laughs> Here we are at Rito Village. There goes another dragonfly. I sense a recurring theme. <laughs> Pot! Pot! There's a tavern? Yeah, right, right. Hello. Uh, you have ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, ooh. Never mind. 
Oh. Yes. Thank you. I'll get bomb arrows later. <laughs> Uh, yes, this, this is what I desire. Hello! Greetings! I greet thee! This pl- oh, oh. This please? Hmm. Yeah, I may as well go with this. For now. Gonna have to grind for some rupees. Or let go of some stuff that I've held on to. Hello, small all child! What's wrong? The divine- that divine beast of a meadow in the sky is the worst. Molly's dad got hurt, and Tulin's dad disappeared. Mom and big sis and little sis are all sad, and I can't do anything to help. Boy, that's a mood. Not, not the people's parents disappearing, but you know, <laughs> the rest of it. Child frustrated, there's nothing to do. All right, let's go do the shrine in town real quick. So we don't... Come here! Dang it! Alright. I missed the shrine name because I was focused on the dragonfly, but here we are. <laughs> shrine montage. Alright, this old man is our quest marker. Ah, visitor, welcome to- Oh! Oh! That object on your hip, could it be? Forgive me, where are my manners? I'm Caniel. Or Canely, uh, Elder of the Ritos. Uh, now then, is that not a Sheikah, slip dangli a Sheikah Slate dangling from your hip? Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Rivali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Meadow. No, what am I thinking? The champions of old been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to this old man's request, you would, be, you would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you. Truly. Now, I know it, uh, that you have the blood of a champion. There is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with Divine Beast Von Meadow, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can stop a divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. I tried explaining this to the more headstrong Rito warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Teba and Harth both tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Harth has been injured. Teba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plan plans to face Meadow alone. As descendant of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please, find Teba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Von Meadow. What's up, kid? I'm scared of the bird monster. I hope it doesn't eat me. Did the village elder tell you about it? Are you scared about it too? Uh, not at all. Oh, really? Are you a champion or something? C c yeah. Yes. Affirmative. Hey, what's up? Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Teva, in the fight against Meadow. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Well, my husband headed to a place called the Flight Range. It's in Dronox Pass at the base of the Hebra Mountains. It's a place where Rita warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone there to gather weapons and for another run in Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the Flight Range on foot this time. If you take off from Rivali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the Flight Range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion, Rivali, so named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Let's find out more about Pasta Bird!
impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Yet I have made an art of creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. With proper utilization of my superior skills, I see no reason why we couldn't easily dispense with Ganon. Now then, my ability to explore the firmament is certainly of note. But let's not, pardon me for being so blunt, let's not forget the fact that I am the most skilled archer of all the Rito. Yet despite these truths, it seems that I've been tapped to merely assist you. All because you happen to have that little darkness ceiling sword on your back. I mean, it's just asinine. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one-on-one. -on -one. But where? Oh, I know. How about up there? Oh, you must pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. Good luck sealing the darkness! That's why we picked on him. Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? My apologies. I fear I must have said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, with a mission objective and a guide on where to go next. In the next episode, we're gonna head towards the flight range, which is actually about face. <laughs> that way. Um. We're gonna head to the, towards the flight range and uh, talk to Teva about what to do about the Vine Beast. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm gonna use some off-camera time to grind up some rupees and get a full set of armor. Maybe get that great fairy. Uh, I will record off-camera work and I will put it in at the end if I do it. <laughs> so thanks everybody so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Take care! Bye! Awake, Rock! Oh god, this is a rare one. keep missing the chance to jump off. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a diamond for a second. I, I missed. He did not. Three. Four. Five. Leap. Okay. Let's use it for crap bows. 
And one more. Yeah. Oh, I didn't take a picture of him. <laughs> oh well. All right, and with that, I think that's gonna conclude our off-camera work. Um, I am going to head back to Rito and uh, get ready for questy stuff. So thank you everybody so much for watching once again. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Doodles. Bye.